Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Hey guys, so this is sort of an exercise for me, but I might as well just record it and post it anyway. So I'm watching one of his videos on visiting where I live, New England, so that I can sort of understand how he makes these videos, and I can take that understanding into uh, some of the other videos he does about different countries, because because I've seen a lot of comments how, you know, you're not going to be able to create a perfect, you know, top 10 list or whatever about certain countries. And you guys have pointed out how certain things aren't exactly correct. And so I think this is a good exercise here. My name is Connor. If you're new, I'm from Rhode Island, New England, USA, in that order. And I like to learn about things and watch stuff on YouTube. So that's what we're doing. Walter's World, great channel. Let's do it. Hey there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's hey. World, and today we're in Mystic, Connecticut, in New England, in the Northeast of the U.S. And today, what we have for you are the don'ts of visiting New England. And I'll be honest, it is gorgeous up here because you have so many beautiful, cute towns like here in Mystic, Connecticut, or just going up the coast of Maine and seeing those things there, and the landscapes and the nature that's here, whether you're in the mountains of Vermont, oh my God, it's so gorgeous there, or the coastlines. There's just so much beauty and wonderful things to do here. Great little villages and towns to stay at, cute little motels, cool cities like Boston. To, but, but I'm not going to go on that. What I want to focus on today are the don'ts for when you do come up here, okay? Because you should come up here. It's really cool. And my first don't for you is don't be surprised by the New England shield. It's kind of like this shield they put up, the people put up here to kind of like, oh, you're from New York, or you're from Illinois, you're from California, whatever kind of feel you have. Don't let that put you off because the thing is, is the people actually are really nice. They will help you. They'll tell you where the best places to eat are. They'll tell you, you know, hey, you should check this village out or check this town out or go here, go there. The people is that are a lobster mac and cheese bread bowl? It is. Or it's a lobster chowder bread bowl. Oh my God, where is that? The people are really cool when you're up here, but they're not gonna necessarily bring you into their home, okay? This is one of those those places that they're really helpful, but they're really helpful when you're out there, okay? Now, if you actually, you know, crack through that hard shell, that, that New England shield, they're even so much more welcoming to you, so it is great, but just have a heads up that that New England shield is a real thing, but don't worry about it because the people will help you. Now, my next stone for you is probably gonna be the one that drives you the most crazy when you're up here, and that is don't go crazy when you drive I-95. Look, if you're not from the U.S., I-95 is the highway that goes up and down the coast, the east coast of the U.S., and it is insane driving. But when you get from New York into New England, it gets even more crazy for some reason, and it really can drive people crazy. So don't go nuts when you're on I-95. Have patience when you're there, because it can be quite frustrating. And, and don't think that by taking the back roads it's going to be easier, because all the locals are trying to take those too. So congestion and traffic is just one of the things you have to deal with. And another thing you have to deal with when it comes to the traffic are the mass holes. Look, <laughs> don't let the mass holes get to you. Mass holes is what they basically call like the, the really aggressive kind of drivers kind of stuff, which you'll see on I-95 weaving through and stuff like that. Don't let them get to you. Have your patience and realize that that person is getting frustrated with you. They're dealing with so many tourists coming through here that you can kind of understand stuff, but realize that they'll be good people when they actually help you out later on, okay? Another don't I have for you is when you're going to be coming up here, don't stay at the, the chain hotels. I mean, there's plenty of chain hotels. If you want to do that, it's not a problem, but stay at a B&B or a motel or some cottages. That's the really true authentic experience when you come up here. I remember a few years ago, we were up in Maine and Belfast, Maine, and we stayed at this set of cottages out there and they had a bonfire you could make. It was right on the water and it's just gorgeous. We stayed at bed and breakfast in different places. We're out in nature. It's really a great thing. So don't think you have to stay at a hotel. Go and search a bit more for those B&Bs. And the thing is, they don't all show up on TripAdvisor or booking so sometimes you do a little bit more research contact the tourism board i just want to say a lot of times you think of a beach a lot of new england the the beach beach is going to look a lot like this right here or booking so sometimes not everywhere you do a little bit but... more research contact the tourism board or the place you're going to go they'll have some recommendations too and that can really help you out and when you are booking those places don't forget to book early if you're going to come for leaf peeping season. Yeah, you know, when the foliage change and the tourists mad rush up here, it is gorgeous. Jocelyn came up here last for it, last year for it and just loved it. But you make sure you book ahead, especially for those really cute cottages and stuff. Otherwise, you probably will be staying in a hotel. So do book early for those. And the high seasons in July and August, you definitely want to book early, okay? Now, when you are driving around, you might notice our next don't. And that is don't expect the cell service to be great 
create everywhere in New England. Look, New England, when you, if you're just driving I-95, you think, man, it's got people the entire way up. There's, it's all New England is full of people. Actually, if you want a place like Vermont, it's one of the like two smallest populated states. I mean, there's more people in DC than there's in the whole state of Vermont, and it's gorgeous. But you, since with such like low population density, sometimes there's not as many cell towers, so a signal can be a bit tough to come by if you're going like in the mountains and stuff like that. So just have a heads up when you are doing those things. So if you're using your GPS on your phone, download the off or download the offline map so you have that as well. But you should be okay. But that's one thing I have noticed is that signal does drop a lot. And when we were up in New Hampshire and northern Vermont, it was like hit and miss. And sometimes we get the Canadian service. So then at ts like, oh, you are in an international roaming zone. I'm like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. We are really close to the border. So just have a heads up for that one. Um, oh, speaking of Vermont, this one you gotta, I have to tell you, don't drink anything up here except for New England beer. They have awesome beer up here. Yeah, for especially me, Vermont the two has best a lot of good beers. With local beer. Vermont is number one and Connecticut is number two. I mean, there's good ones in the other places, but those are the ones I've loved the most. And so Rhode when you want to pick up your beer, pick up the local stuff. Sadly, the Vermont okay. beer, for some reason, they don't explore it as much as I wish they would. So you're only going to see that sometimes. But if you get into Vermont, man, just stock up, okay? It is awesome. And I guess another don't I should tell you about the liquor here is don't expect to be able to buy alcohol at normal stores. Look, if you're in New Hampshire or Vermont, Maine, it's stuff not like New that, York. there's actually state- Like New York City, you could, like in a gas station, you could buy beer and everything. Like you're, in mass, you might be able to, but Rhode Island, you definitely can't buy beer in gas stations. Run liquor stores that you have to go to to buy your liquor. So that can be a little strange. You're like, hey, I want to go pick something up. And you go in the, the store and you're like, hey, where's where's the alcohol? Oh, no, you have to go to a liquor store for that. I'm like, oh, oh, really? Yeah. So there might be other stores for that. Also, don't expect to easily find alcohol on Sundays because some places they close early uh, selling liquor on Sundays or sometimes it might not be open on Sundays. So just have a heads up for that. Um, but, but another don't is don't worry about not getting the beer because if you go to the local restaurants they always carry local beer there so you'll be totally happy okay so drink up and enjoy but you know don't drink and drive obviously but do enjoy it when you are here because it is awesome and some other don'ts i could should say like the fun with the food and drink mix is don't forget to eat the local specialties yes you are going to have lobster throughout on the coast and the lobster rolls in maine are fantastic so don't be afraid to pull off the side of the road when you see a, a lobster roll stand just pull off grab one have it enjoy it love it be it and then hop back in and, and take off i mean we've stopped at them because some had little playgrounds for the kids the kids would play where is this where is there a lobster bread bowl joss and i have a lobster roll chat for a bit and then we'd be back on our way that's great the new england clam chowder oh my god it is so good and yes just like anywhere in the world when you go to the place where the name I'm not is an oyster it's fan. always better it is amazing here the i'm sorry are i'm just not i'm not an oyster fan i just don't like them i think yeah, I, here, I mean, it's just such great seafood when you're here, you are here. Don't skip out on that. But also, I'll don't skip it. out it's on the just... fun little things like whoopie pies, which is like it's like a chocolate cake sandwich with with cream in the middle. That was so good. The boys and I really enjoyed that. There's Necco wafers. You can have things like that. Yes, of course, the Boston baked beans and the the Boston cream pies that are out there. It's oh my god. There's... It, it's not that oysters are terrible. It's that they're so expensive and they're not that good in my opinion it, it, it's a it, this, this is just me okay so many good local things you can have and you know they have their little silly you know local treats Ooh, like you strip. can make at home i mean you can have a, a fluffer nutter at home which is just instead of peanut butter and jelly it's peanut butter and and marshmallow fluff you can have those things there's all these cute little things that I'm are also here not a fluff so fan. make sure when you're going to those restaurants or those b and b's and stuff like that ask hey you know is it clams should i get should, should i get mussels or steamers or, Ooh, or what should i get when i come here they will let you know and they will tell you the best place to have those but don't skip out on the local beer and the local Local food. I mean, obviously, but here, especially that way. Another don't I have is it's going to be easy for you to do that because don't expect to see a lot of chain restaurants. I found in New England you don't have as many of the fast food joints and you don't have as many of the uh, of the big chains, fast casual places. You have a lot more local mom and pop places, which is really cool, or New England chains. So do check out those and enjoy those things. Um, and, and when you're drinking here, if you don't want alcohol, don't be surprised if you see more flavors of seltzer water, like bubble water, than you see soda. It's crazy. They love that stuff up here. Uh, now, now, one don't I though I have for you that's, that's not so happy is 
don't expect to hear that hardcore Boston accent too often. Look, New England, it's 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 a big region and people don't sound like that. You know, we're from Boston and blah blah blah. You don't you don't actually hear that too often, which that's true. And sometimes you do, but I like I don't think I have a Boston accent or a like I'm or a New England accent. I, I don't think I have. It'd be for other people to tell me if I do, but uh, that's true. It's funny because I didn't hear it at all at Boston until I got on the Amtrak train to come back to Mystic. So so don't be sad if you don't hear it. You might hear it, you definitely but, but don't really be surprised if you, if you don't hear it okay. You likely will. Oh, another will. don't with Boston around there is, if you didn't know that, uh, Dunkin' Donuts is actually from New England, and they love Dunkin' Donuts, okay? And I'm going to tell you right now, you might not like Dunkin' Donuts, but as a traveler, as a tourist, it might be your best friend for breakfast when you you are up here because it's everywhere okay and so that's gonna be your coffee donut snack place for the mornings just a heads up for that one another donut I have for you is when you there is a Dunkin Donuts everywhere when he says everywhere he means everywhere like there are so many you are talking to the locals what you need to know is don't bother talking about any other sports or any other teams except for the ones from New England or maybe New York I mean and you'll see everywhere you go where they sell baseball caps or jerseys or shirts it's the Red Sox everywhere the Patriots everywhere and the Yankees everywhere okay so you will see them Yankees. and they only like talking about their sports so just have a heads up for that um, which is funny because I say about the Yankees and you'll see people with their Yankees hats and flags and stuff like that but I want to say about New York is don't think Think that New York is New England. It's not. New England is a different part of the country. New York is a state that is separate from New England. New England is Connecticut, Rhode Island, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine. Even Connecticut isn't really New England. <laughs> I might have said Connecticut people, but I see Connecticut as sort of like the transition in, into New York where okay yeah. it's not new york all right so just a heads up though you will see all those yankee all the yankee caps you'll see the new york you know license plates coming up here especially during leafy bean time but don't think that new york is new england okay um another don't i have for you is don't be surprised if you don't understand the slang here because you know it might not be the accent it might just be the word and they use you're like what what did he say there just ask the locals they'll tell you what it means and they'll get a kick out of it and probably one that'll get you when you have the little ones around with you a milkshake here in new england is milk with a syrup and it's stirred up you know like a chocolate milk kind of thing so have a heads up for that one one of my last mm -hmm. don't stir it up you know like you a milkshake here in new england is milk with a syrup and it's stirred up you know like a chocolate milk kind of thing so have a heads up mm -hmm. he's been very good so honestly i have to say he's been pretty pretty darn accurate so I i'm impressed there but a milkshake being milk with, with chocolate syrup? Uh, no, if you're going to get a milkshake, it's going to be ice cream. Up for that one. One of my last don'ts I have for you is, if you're going to be coming here in the winter, don't complain about the cold and the snow. I mean, there's a reason why White Christmas was based in Vermont, because like, oh, Christmas time, there's going to be snow, snow, snow. It snows up here. And when it snows, it snows a lot deal with it the locals do and so should you okay it's just the way it is and it can be pretty cool when it does come down that much like wow i've never seen like meters of snow before yes it can happen okay so don't complain about it and the last don't i have for you and this is one that's near and dear to my heart is don't forget the whale if you're not sure who the hartford whalers are it's an old hockey team that's now left connecticut it's now called something else we won't talk about but i know for me the whale is still right here and whenever i play nhl 94 on sega back in the day and i still play today with my buddies i always play with the whale so i hope you have a great time when you do come here to new england it is a fantastic place to come whether you're a solo traveler a family traveler couples stuff like that there's tons of stuff to do inside and historic sites and buildings you know there's all kinds of history up here for the american revolution to to more natural stuff there's lots of national parks there's also places you can i mean here in connecticut i can go and put a plaster of a dinosaur footprint there's so many cool things to check out and enjoy when you are here in new england i do hope you come up here and visit and don't worry you will have a good time um if you want to learn more five things you love and hate about coming to new england maybe you want to know the don'ts of boston specifically or five things you should eat when you come here check us out on our website at waltersworld.com we're also on twitter facebook instagram youtube and we really appreciate your likes subscriptions we hope you have a great time here in new england but we're sure you will and if you do come to mystic the mystic seaport down the way actually a pretty cool place to check out bye from mystic i think it was pretty accurate honestly um a lot of things he said I, he didn't really bring up any of the 
like you didn't bring up i think we have some pretty good skiing but I, i've never been out west to where you know the rockies they have much larger mountains more grand resorts and everything um but yeah i, I i'd say definitely if you're a family it, it'd be a good place to come uh it might be expensive in some places but um if you're a solo person again if you like history yeah but in terms of you know, you, there's there's no like New York City or L.A. or Chicago, Miami. Like it's a little bit more like there's a lot of old people, right, in, in New England. And I think Maine is like the, I, my my goal here, which is to kind of check out his video. I don't want to say a bunch of things. You know, I, I love New England. All right. But I'm biased. And uh, yeah, I, I think he was pretty good here. And I think I'm ready. I can kind of take this in and 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 go to other uh videos he has from different countries and cities great awesome hope you guys are doing well see you next time